everyone, how are you? I'm Ebony and welcome to my channel. You've made a great decision by clicking on this video today because I have something really amazing in store today. I did a beautiful uh, perm rod set on my 4C natural hair and I am in love with the results. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are interested in natural hairstyles and we are gonna go ahead and get started. Starting the style on stretched hair, I put my hair in plaits the night before to stretch my hair. So um, the first thing I do is part out a section of hair that I'm going to be rolling and I apply my styling product. My styling product is the Myel Organics Twisting Souffle. I apply about a dime size amount to this section of hair and I make sure the section is thoroughly detangled and smooth down. So here you'll see me just running my fingers through my hair multiple times just to really make sure my hair is nice and smooth and I pay careful attention to the ends. Next I take my perm rod set, I'm sorry, I take my perm rod and I apply it to the end of my hair and then I just wrap it around tightly. I wrap around the end maybe about three to four times before I roll my hair up the hair shaft. Very important to make sure the hair is thoroughly detangled and smoothed down. Uh, taking that additional step will really guarantee great results. If your hair is not properly detangled and you don't smooth it down, you're definitely going to experience quite a bit of frizz. And uh, I'm just repeating the same thing that I did in the previous step on my next section of hair. So I'm detangling my hair, I apply my styling product, and I just run my hands down the hair shaft multiple times just to smooth it down and then I roll it and it's really simple it's very simple to do this again the big thing to achieve a great perm rod set is making sure the section is detangled and the hair is smooth I know I've said that three times now but it took me some time to perfect this method because I didn't always take my time with this step so here you see um, I've gone on to repeat the same thing all over my head and this is my last two pieces of hair. So once I roll these two sections, I'll be allowing my hair to set overnight before I take down my hair. I'm back! It's the next day and it's time to take down my hair. I have a few tips to ensure success when removing the perm rods. First, you want to apply a bit of oil to your hands because it helps to eliminate frizz. Second, you want to remove the rod in the direction of the curl. You don't want to remove the rod by working in the opposite direction because that will disturb the curl. And finally, you want to use a good styling product and only use a small amount. Otherwise, what tends to happen is the hair does not completely dry and you end up spending a lot of time rolling your hair just to end up with a frizzy mess. So this is what my hair looks like once I've removed all the rods. Time to move on to my favorite part of this process, which is to separate the curls and fluff. So to get started, I do apply a little bit more castor oil to my hands and then I take one curl and I separate that curl into two. And depending on the way the hair is separating, um, I will continue to separate more. So um, I'm very careful to be mindful of the way my hair is uh, because sometimes the curl just doesn't set properly and the more you pull it apart all you do is create more frizz but again because I did take my time smoothing out the sections and making sure the hair was detangled I didn't really run into that too much so I was able to separate each curl into about four separate pieces and I definitely could have done more but I was just happy with the look once I did that so here is my hair after I've separated separated uh, the curls and then I take a wide tooth comb and I'm just fluffing my hair out from the roots and that basically completes this process. That step is optional. I personally like to fluff my roots because it helps add additional volume and I personally love big hair. And here are the final results. I did uh, pull some of my hair over to the right side. That's what I was doing in the last clip just so um, just to kind of help give it some additional shape. If you like this video, please make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I am really in love with this style. I mean, come on, look at all this bounce and body 
you would think that I applied some heat to my hair or something. To be honest with you, this style really reminds me of when my hair was relaxed and I would get a roller set at the beauty salon. And I achieved these curls with no heat, no salon, at home on my 4C natural hair. I am absolutely loving this look. If you love this look as much as I do, please give me a thumbs up to support my channel and subscribe. I make lots of wonderful videos. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.